Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. I'm on the 101 video marathon. I'm just kidding, that's what I feel like. Oh my gosh. So I think I've actually succeeded in creating a video, which um, I'm sure you'll be seeing this. Uh, it'll already be happening, right? I'm like talking past, present, and future tense, but I'm excited. I'm so happy that I was able to get the videos done. I'm so happy that I'm gonna be having these journals done before I leave. Um, that's awesome. I wanna make another tag though for inside the journal. There's a spot in here that, um, I just felt like it needed one more back here. I, I want something that's taller. So I'm, I thought, and I still have some little things I have to fix, like I'm gonna add some stuff and we've gotta do a flip through, but I wanna make a journal, a journal, a tag. And I wanted to use some book page because that's one of the fun elements. I was thinking that's one of the really fun elements of these junk journals that really got me going when I started. And I thought I should implement that or incorporate that, implement the, whatever, I guess either word works, um, in the journal for my family. So I need it to be about seven and a quarter inches tall to seven and a half inches tall, either one, but I think seven and a quarter was what I was thinking worked best and um, three and a half inches wide. So I went through, I had a couple of books. I went through and I found some papers right here that I thought might work. Um, that's cute, it's a big assist. And I just love this guy, he's so adorable. I feel like he has to be on there. Um, I think these little kids fit in there. I'm not sure if I can get the whole thing in there. It, um, I think that might work, so I'm gonna try. I grabbed another book though, just in case. Yep, I do, I mark my books so when I open them up, I'm like, oh, I can't remember what it's for because I've um, you know, reorganized it so many times in my areas. That kind of helps keep me in check. So I have this, I love the giant writing. I think they're so cute. I think this is cute right here, but she's too close to the top where the bow would be, so I don't wanna use that. But we'll get to that in a minute. I, I picked out three book pages, I need four. Let's see how these work. Um, let's cut these bases down. I, I found some paper that I don't mind using for it. I want it to be not super heavy duty, but um, I don't want it to be really fl flimsy either. I don't remember if I talked about it. I was gonna do like a washi tape on the tags and then I, I just decided I need to make simplify it um, a little bit. So. I just thought I would grab this. I think this will be a good background. So I'm gonna use this. It's got a little bit of a weight to it. Um, this one, this one, actually this has a little bit of weight to it too. I mean, it's not, I mean, it would be a pretty thin tag. So I think maybe I'll, maybe I'll skip that one. Let's see what else. I might have to go look for more paper. Let me do it this way. I ha I'm, I'm like fumbling with my hands here. I like that one. I think this one's same thing. It's gonna be a little too flimsy. I'm gonna lose that book page like that. I have this one right here. Mm, this feels like a little bit, I don't know, it could work. It's very busy. Okay, I, see I said that and then I took it away. I love polka dots and I love yellow, so I have that one. This one's kind of thin, so maybe not those either. Sheesh, well I didn't do a very good job pulling paper. Okay, this has heft, I like that one. Um, the reason why I need more than just one paper for the four tags is because um, they're all 12 by 12 and I know I need seven and a quarter and that's gonna change, right? It's gonna change things, so I don't know. Maybe, especially if they're directional. I think I'm gonna skip this. Well, honestly, I can change that color and I like the print, so let's just do it. Let's just see what we got. I'm gonna cut them down. Cut them down. I do need to open this bar because seven and a quarter is that way. Let's see if I just did it like this. Um, I, I, I think I'm just gonna go here. I don't necessarily need that on there. I can use this part right here. Dun, 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 dun. The thoughts, and I can even go sideways too. That doesn't matter. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit. Um, Hmm, I know I need three and a half inches, so let me just take this right here. Three, I want three and a half this way. I'm gonna go ahead and lose that. I don't wanna lose that whole butterflies and moths. Do I really care? Do I care? I don't know. So if I go four, I'll just go four, 
and then I'll trim this side down. Yeah. Ah. I've been doing so much cutting, I already need a new blade. So we're gonna go that way and that way. And that way, if I if I do want that, I can I'll still have it, right? right there. And then I have it, I have a little strip here that I will probably never use, but I have it. Seven and um, a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and take it seven and a half, and that way if I want to trim this little piece off down here, or if I need to trim more, I can. And then I have that, which see, I'm my, I'm never gonna use that. No, I should never say never. This is going to be, um, how, how long is that? Yeah, this will work for seven and a half that way. So I need to go three and a half of this way. But again, I don't want that big piece right there. I'm gonna take that strip off. Now I have two tags, bases. If I cut this one down to three and a half here, And then, did I measure that tag right? Okay, I think I did. Yeah, so I feel like I'm gonna be able to get that whole thing in there. Wouldn't that be cute? I want to, if I wanted to get those cute little kids on this tag, I would just have to go like that. It's, I just want to check really quick. Is seven and a half too high? Because I'm just debating. I might just kind of use something down at the bottom there. Where did that piece go where I want it? Just got to keep going back and forth. Does anybody else do this? Okay. Seven and a half is too high. I don't want it that high. So I'm going to go back down to seven and a quarter. I'm thinking about... Um, looking into some different cutting boards that I can see the measurements better. I just get confused where it splits off, you know? And like where these lines all, like, I don't get it. So I don't get it. What's missing? I'm a, I'm a, I'm just, I'm a struggling, I'm a struggler. So I have to, I have to be able to get it. Let's see. So now this is really silver compared to this, but I feel like I can, um, this is kind of what I was doing. I wanted to see, like, I want room to tie a little bow. I think I'd like a little bit of room down here. I don't think I want that much room up there is what I'm getting at. I don't think I need that whole thing on there either, but it is kind of cute if I can get it. Um, I sh I'm going to try and line my paper, this page edge right here, because I know it is straight. And then I'm going to use my ruler. I'm going to go along this line here. And there, I can always trim it up later if I need to. That's cute, okay. And then I'm gonna take, now I can just take my three and a half inches off that tear line, right? One, two, three and a half right there. And right here, line it up with those dots and the ones below. I think I like that. Ooh, look at that nice torn edge. Okay. Yeah, that works out pretty good. Okay, now I need to see where I want that to go. There we go. So let's get that glued on. So I know the bottom one I want in my on camera. I want the bottom one to be lined up as best as I can because that is my starting point for the height of this that I'm gonna keep. Oh, maybe I am gonna keep the whole thing, who knows? Let's get a good, let's get that stuck down because I'm not gonna sew these. Nope, it's just a tiny bit tall, okay. I didn't want to um, glue that to my mat, so I just did it this way. Okay, there's that. Now, um, I'm gonna use these scissors because I don't want to get that glue on my little snips. And I'm just gonna trim that. I'm going to not wait. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a tag trim, a tag trim. 
a round, a, a big, a, the big one, the round one, and the round one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go really quick, and I'm just gonna burnish that down again on those where those um, pieces are that I cut off, just in case. All right. Now that should stick. Let me stick that on there. All right. So I was freezing cold. I've been freezing. I've, I've talked about it a couple times. Like, it's so cold. It's so cold. And then I remembered um, <laughs> that in the summertime, it gets really cold down here because my vents are covered. We have four stairs. So the vents are covered because it just gets so cold. It Our thermostat's on the main floor. So it maintains to, you know, you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. So anyhow, we have vent covers that we put these. And those were good. They were great. They're, they're um, magnetic. If you've never seen them, we get them at Home Depot. And you just cut them to shape, and then you put them over your vents. Well, um, they still, a little bit of air comes through every now and then. So my husband takes my, he stole my Tyvek tape, and he taped all the way around it on the wall to keep them sealed. So this morning when I was coming down here, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. I thought, oh, I looked at the vent, and I thought, oh my gosh, because our weather's changing, and um, I did not change with it. Dang it. <laughs> I did not change it with it with my vents. So he took the covers off. So now you will hear my vents again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it does keep me warm. So I, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Okay. You know, I kind of like that. I'm thinking. Thinking, thinking. Okay. What do I want to do? I want to go take my page to the edge here. The straight part of my page. I want to put it right on that line. And I know I want this whole little tiger guy. Is he a tiger? He's a cheetah. Cheetah. Leopard. Cheetah. Are they the same? They're not the same, are they? Okay. I'll stop it. I'm going to put that right there. Whatever it is. He's so cute. And I'm going to put my tag, my tag there. And I know I want that whole thing in there, but I want to go up a little bit. Um, it'd be kind of nice if I'm going to have that number on there, I should go ahead and keep it more so that I'm not going to see that number right there. So I don't trim it off with my little circle when I do the circle punch. So maybe I'll go down like that. Okay. What I do with my ruler? Oh, I put it away. Shocking. So I know I'm going to go to that line, to that dot there and to that dot there. that dot there and that dot there okay I think I'm a little bit crooked but that's all right I'm on there more book page strip oh so cute I just don't like the face he's like owie this hurts mom <laughs> so and then I can take this one now on that edge I'm gonna go one two three and a half right there I can take it to that one and just pay attention to my measuring, my measuring. <laughs> there we go. And we have that. Then, and then, I know it's gonna be seven and a half, so. I want, if I want that number on there, I have to bring that down just a little bit, right? Okay. All right, I feel safe to do this here, like, do I? I, you know what? Don't take, don't take a chance. Who said that? Don't take a chance. I'm gonna take, 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 take that, that right there. Sheesh. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oops. See, I would have been a little bit crooked. I'm gonna go on that dotted line and that dotted line right there. And I'm gonna take that off. But I want to make sure I don't. Well, I'm getting really close on that number. Maybe I'll put I'll line this line up with this line this time. I'm gonna give myself a little extra space, I think. I can trim. Whoa. Well, that's silly. Let me try this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a quarter. But I'm gonna go a little bit past the quarter to give myself a tiny bit of space place 
space to um, trim so that I have room for air. Okay, it doesn't want to do that. I can't hold it down. Okay, everything tells me stop doing that. I mean, it keeps telling me, right? I'll glue from the top down this time. So this is directional. So I want that like that and this like this. Maybe I'll glue on this thing this time. Here's a glue page and a glue stick. All right. And start at the top, right? Start at the top. Get it all the way up there. Come on. Get a little little play with the glue stick, but not a whole lot. I gotta, you know, get my decision made here where the landing spot is. Looks like I did do it a little bit shy from the edges, but oh goodness, okay. Now, let's just get this down. We can do some trimming. Okay, cute. I think I'm gonna do my little snippety snip here. doesn't seem right but and then this one right here there we go so I have that one and then I have I have this one I'm like I turned it around I think I want to change that color tone though see like that one I like that that looks nice that looks weird I'm not sure this one I think needs an image um, and the other one I think it, the image is fine but I think with this one Let's do, I have these pieces right here. Let's just see what we have. And here's a piece that I, I sewed, I already sewed on a little bit. I mean, that's kind of, it's big. Um, let's see, that's little. That's big, that's little, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that, okay, let's see. Let's see what we do. If we put some ink on here around the edging. We can just put that like that, and that just gives it a nice little image. I don't, I don't really want to go too crazy and do too many different things on here. I'm trying to make these a little bit more simplified. Um, I have enough. I have a lot of other stuff going on. I feel, I feel like I do. I feel like I do. Okay, so So got my car ordered and guess what? Since I have AARP, I got a really good discount. And since I have really good car insurance, I have um, that covered. I don't have to pay any extra, so that's nice. I got a hold of my car insurance guy and asked him about that. And he said, yeah. And then he sent me over, um, you know, he, he met, how did he send it to me? Like an email, but it's on my phone. He goes here and I'm going to send this to you. So you just have it with you. And I was like, isn't he the greatest? I just, I really love my guy. Um, I really love my insurance guy. <laughs> His name is Joe Doak and he is out of OMAC and he, um, oh my gosh, there we go. He's, he's the greatest. Like he's just like on the spot all the time. Perfect. All right, I like that and I like that. I just gotta change this color a little bit. So I got that part taken care of, I got my car. I was like surprised, I mean like, we saved like a lot, like like over a hundred bucks. So I think that's a lot. I was wondering really, if, I mean like am I ever gonna really use AARP? Does anybody here use AARP? I didn't know if it was gonna be cheaper to order a car, like does AAA have any benefits? We have AAA. Oh, that's the other thing too. So we have AAA, so I really don't need to buy any of their extra things. Maybe just double check with AAA to see what um, they offer. I know we have a, like the, we did, um, it's a gift. My mother-in-law buys it for us every year. She just started doing this, uh, I think last year, or the year before. And so it was a very nice gift. So we have that and, she, and we have the top one. So that's, that's really nice. Very grateful for that. So I took, I, I followed her and I bought my kids AAA um, as a gift. I mean, I know I said I don't really do Christmas gifts. I don't think I ever finished that thing. So um, we do things, but I did say we do things throughout the year. So I had got them all that. Well then, 
when this last year, not in 2022, we had purchased all those properties and they all need work. And so we're a little bit behind. So I didn't buy, I didn't renew any of my kids' things. And I told them, any of them that can afford it, they sh I, I recommend doing it. It's just, it's worth it if you can do it. Um, my one daughter in love, she travels a lot. And so like, it's just, it's just nice to have it. Not, we don't always have phone service everywhere. So, and we are like four hours away from them by the time you get to where you're going. Yeah, see, I like that and that looks better. I'm gonna get a little bit more on there, I think. And then I'll just punch a little hole and put a little thing and then wham, bam, I've got me a cute little tag. I think we'll match, I don't care if it matches. I don't care if it matches. There you go, there's that, I don't care. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. I'd be happy with it. And honestly, if I was like, oh, I think it looks better on this page, then I move it. That's why it's an interactive journal. Part of it, right? See? And now we just have another tag. Yay! It needs a little bow. And that's it. So I'll stick that in there. I mean, I don't even know where it's going to go, honestly. But I need to do three more. We'll do this one really quick. And it's perfect. No sewing. And they're cute. They're not too heavy. And they're not very, they're not so flimsy that they can't be used. Does anybody here do, have a laminator? Do you use it? Do you find it to be fun or more of a, like a hassle? Like, gotta find a place to put it. I really want one, but I'm like, I don't have any place to put one. And is it gonna be one of those things where I'm like so excited to get it and then I never use it because I gotta plug it in, turn it on, one of those things. Like I have, I have enough stuff, right? Okay, thanks. Thanks for talking me out of it. I have enough stuff. <laughs> I don't need anything else at the moment, right? Yeah, well, I mean, except for like ink and glue. Ink, glue, you know, the important things that we use every day. I like this one too. I just don't know if I want it right there. Let's see, we, do, we still need one more. Let's find a book page that we like. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it just felt, what the heck, look at that. It's just like, oh my gosh, I gotta quit touching it. I need one more cute thing. That's cute. That's cute, but it's up so high. <laughs> I love this. Look at mom is giving her little boy a, a chocolate cupcake. I love that. I want a chocolate cupcake. Okay. Doorbells. I need a one. I need, and I want the image to be either in the middle or down below. Down lower. Oh, see, that would be so cute. Well, except that cat's like, get out of here. That's kind of cute. Um, let's see. No, I guess I could have I could have torn that a lot better, but, or use a cutter. I do like that one, and ooh, I think that one's too wide. Oh, I like this one too. How wide is that? I would lose a couple of legs and arms. I think it'd be a cuter pocket, so I don't want to. I don't want to do that. That one's cute too. I think that one could work. Let's try that one. Let me let me just do the rough tear again, since I just said I shouldn't do that. Oh. get those in there and put that book up there now let's see I feel like this would be pretty with this one and then this Pegasus would be pretty with it with a gray one um, I will cut oh and I did, did I have another gray one no that's a scrap that's scrappy so I did we did what did we do we did a seven and a quarter um, Seven and a quarter, and I, I know it goes to that line right there. So I don't think I want to do that. I want to go three, three and a half first. Yes, <laughs> and then seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter, right there. Whoops! Dang, that scared me. All right, I had to do a little cleanup there. Let's get this one on here. Nope, it's not that one, right? It's the other side. Yikes, come on. 
Yep, it's this side right here. And they're all going to fit. I think that's adorable. But they honestly would look good even on this one too, wouldn't they? Oh, I think this this is the one. It's more playful. Oh, look at there's Fernando. I'm going to do, I need to do this side, I guess, here. And this side here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm I, I I know I want it to be right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that line there, this line here. I have that straight, and then I'm gonna put that one there. I'm gonna see if I can do it that way. Where's my where's my ruler? So I have this line. I'm gonna I want to put it just right on there. I should just use a paper cutter, huh? Maybe I'll do that. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish here. Or who I think I am. Who do I think I am? I can't do that. Okay. Okay, it's a little extra there. That's fine. I'd rather have a little trim off than not enough. And wait. Oh, I guess you got to stay on here. Where'd my other line go? There it is. Oh, I'm going to get his little booty. I, I want his little booty to be on there. So, okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm just going to do that. All right, and then I'll get that rough edge off. And I know this is going to be three and a half, so I can go back into here and go a little bit on this side. There we go. Nobody needs to lose a booty today. Although I will say at the gym, <laughs> at the gym, that is a part of my intention is to just kind of lose a little booty. Just the part that's like hanging down. So sad. Why does it have to do that? Why does everything have to fall down? Let's see. Cute. I like it. I do like it. I, I must say. These book page pockets are cute. I really like that. That came out really nice. I'm kind of wondering now if I should put something on there. It looks a little bit plain. I like the words, but that's like the backdrop, right? Right, all right. This one maybe on the bottom also. I, I mean, I went through all the trouble of cutting all my stuff up. Oh, I think love would be on this one. So maybe if I cut this one down a little bit more. I used this ruler though. Let's just get in, like in the zone here. Okay, I want the love on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I can do this. And look, it says, oh, mama. Oh, mama. So cute. Okay. Well, that's actually a pretty good scrap I just tossed away. If I remember, I'll be able to grab it because it just went to the side. Oh, it's actually, it, it went, went on, right onto me. See what I'm saying? Cute little scrap there. Cute little scrap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's always that. It's, it's extra, extra. Gotta always have a little extra. Yeah, right there like that. And I screamed, oh, mama. <laughs> I love it. Yep, it's perfect. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Dang it. Why can't I just set things down like a normal person? <laughs> Why? Okay, whatever. Whatever. It's just, I mean, like, it, where'd it go? Like, uh-oh. Um, there is a beeping sound outside. I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna have to put you on hold for a second so I can settle my puppy down. I don't, it might be the propane. We have a, we have propane for our 
um, heat source. We got rid of our big oil burner and we put a propane thing in. I'll be right back. Okay, I put I put Maggie away. No, I didn't put her away. I just went to see what was going on. And yes, there was a utility truck here, so she was like barking crazy. Anyhow, I went ahead and cleaned up my desk a little bit. I finished um, gluing the papers down onto the card, the, the book pages down onto the card. I added just a an element of something on each book page tag. And then I was gonna punch a hole and put something through it and I thought, I'm just want, I'm trying to use stuff that I have right here so I quit leaving my desk to go find more stuff because every time I do that, I come back with another project. So I still have this lace that's um, just laying around, just laying around lace. And I just thought, I like that. I'm just gonna put a little staple and I'm gonna, I, I say I'm gonna leave it open, but I'll probably put a little saying there. Um, and all I did is I just cut about, what is that? About, I don't know, a little over two inches, between two and two and a half inches, um, rough cut, you know, messy, rippy cut. And I just folded it like this. Just, um, what do you call that? Like accordion fold or ruffle fold or, I don't know. Does it have a name? I, I If it does, I don't know what it is. And then I just, messy cut off like that and then just tucked that piece down in there just whatever is pleasing to my eye just making sure that I'm gathering it all as close as I can to this middle spot so that when I staple it it stays and then I can just put it anywhere on here so now when I put it there if, if I think it's too big on his head I can just trim that down but I think that's too big no matter what I'm gonna go ahead and put this one over here I like that stapler and I'm going to try to get that on there um there we go I think I'm I think I'm in there I think I'm in it <laughs> and then just kind of give a little tug here and there I can always go back with some glue and I can do some trimming I like that one on that one I like that one I like that one um, I like this one it's coming this way a little bit so um, I don't really want to put another staple in there. I think just one, but I can always, if I, if I'm not liking that, I can take a little button and I can glue a button or a bead or a gem or something. And I may do that. So let's see if this is big enough to do anything. Yeah, I think I got, I think it's big enough. Maybe leaving a little bit flatter at the bottom. Will this one work for this cute little guy? I just want to keep this one. This one's the, this is the one I want. It's like he's wearing a crown, like, oh yes. I am the crown or she or he or whatever. It's cute, it's adorable. Whatever it is, it is adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and pounce that down right there. And then I feel like you can see through it, but enough, but I just wanna get a little bit of that off. A little bit, just like that, yeah. All right, now I need one for this one. So. I'll just cut another piece. I'm kind of having fun with that. Um, I think I can go this way. I need to put these away. Oh, I cleaned up my desk. That's what I did. I have my scissors right here, and these are the ones I like to use because they're easier. And this one would have been way easier because I'd have just been like crunch, crunch, crunch. But let's see. This is a little bit on the wide side. Let's go. I'll have to trim this one down. My fingers are so cold, they hurt. Oh, this. My vent, I have to have a heater going also, a floor heater, so it's. I did get that going, but maybe a little too late. I have a heater that's across my room on the floor, and then I have another one that's under my desk. Or I did. Maybe that's over there now. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's been a long time since it was winter. Like a year. It's been like a year. <laughs> Fold it over and then just back and forth. And just kind of like 
but I think that's fine. This one, same thing, like the Pegasus head, so I don't know. Oh my goodness, let me take a seat. Here, sit down and relax. That's what I should do, and then it may be easier. So, it's still gonna be tall. Let me just, or tall, it's gonna be wide. Maybe if I spin it more in a circle. Oh gosh, sitting down helped a lot, let me tell you. It got me a little bit closer to my, I, my thing here. Okay, I like that better. It's a little bit more fatter and poofier, but it's cute, I like that. I can go up. I just gotta make sure I have my middle piece on the actual tag so I, when I staple it, I don't just staple air. There. Okay, and I think I'm gonna just do like the same thing, that like a little bit of trimming here. Just a little bit of random trims. That was messy. There, cute, I like it. All right, now I'm gonna just, um, this is, these are just like really fluffy trims uh, pieces. I'm just gonna toss them. Um, yes, just toss, just toss them, it's okay. Now, what did I do? So this tag, so this one right here, I feel like it's kind of boring. Remember that piece that I tore off and I was like, oh, it's still a good piece. Did we do that together? I don't remember, but I thought I can just add it there and that'll be kind of cute. And my oohoo glue is at the end, look, it's at the end. I have to do a, I have to do scooping, so this will now go live in a different area of where I'm able to get sc scoopy messy, and I'm just gonna put that there like that. That's it. Okay, fills that little blank, that little empty spot a little bit. So now I have my tags done, um, and those can go in the journals. So I have these done. I have um, my. My, my boards are done, my writing boards are done, these are done. I'm gonna put a little saying on those. I have the other little bows to put someplace. And the last thing that I need to do is I need to make these little notebooks on the side here. And I think, um, I don't know if I have enough time on this video to do it, because it's so slow. Um, I'm gonna try and do one, and then I will just show you the finished thing. That's what we're gonna do. Nope, it isn't. Anyways, I'm just so I just so I just have a couple of things to make. Let's see. I want to add some pieces. I want to add some more lace uh, and a few spots. No big deal. And I do need to make this little notebook here on the side and get this little decorated. So I think that's a that's about it. We might make those notebooks together. So let me see where I where I land on this. And I might see you on another video with this before we do the flip through. Or the next video on the Family Four will be the flip through. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me, my friends. I appreciate you uh, more than you know. And I know that my videos, these have been going on forever and ever in a day. But, um, oh my gosh. That don't, how does that even happen? Oh, not, never mind. Okay. Operator error. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, my friends. I appreciate you so much. And I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. I will see you on the next video. Enjoy all your moments. Bye.